Hello, back again. This is video tutorial part three, and my name is Pakil. Here, in this video tutorial, we will discuss the configuration of pre-compiled header files to our application, and further, uh, we'll make our application run with a complete ogre screen. In this tutorial page, we have all steps necessary to configure Ogre precompiled header files. So definitely, I will follow these steps. And here, this is some important figure. Here, this tutorial says with precompiled header files the execution of our application decreases from 20 second to 1 second although this is a note over here this is in windows xp service pack 3 vc compiler 9 of vc++ 2008 go to do 1.5 gigahertz with ram 2 gb the process, the process or the time consuming uh, consumption, execution time that is execution time of your application will goes like this from 20 seconds to 1 second. That's really a big difference. Fine. Let's come back to our application. Let's create header file first. Add new items and then vc++ code header file make it select name it std afx add okay it shows there are, there is some header files over there fine maybe i had created it existing items and then std afx dot h Fine. If you want to make same process and if you want to make your CPP file, make it CPP. Make uh, make sure Visual C++ code will be there and uh, select CPP files, C++ files and name it STD AFX as I had done it. So I will just add my existing file fine now in stdfx.h what we need to do is copy these all header files of our application and make it paste over stdfx.h as I had done it Then in std afx.cpp, I'm just calling my header file, concern header file. And after this, we need to add our precompiled header file with include directive to all our uh, application files. Dot h. Uh, copy it and then tutorial application cpp10 base application cpp10 mm, we don't need it comment it all done now we need to do some changes over applications property come to properties uh, make sure all configuration will be selected and then in C++ come to precompile header files select use precompile header set leave everything default 
make it apply and then okay come to std afx.cpp come to right click properties and select create precompile header files leave everything default apply okay fine now let's build my application in the meanwhile we need to do some uh, necessary dll files to be there in windows system 32 actually our ogre application needs some dll files of uh, debug, debug and uh, release mode to make our application uh, run so these files are ogre main underscore d dot dll as ois underscore d dot dll copy these save to c windows system 32 paste it fine and for release mode come to your ogre setup bin that is this is your ogre setup when release ogre main dot dll and ois dot dll o, ois dot dll and your ogre main dot dll copy these come to system 32 paste it yeah i am doing it i am going to uh make it make these files make these dll files open to our operating system but few uh senior people had suggested uh which should not do our application file make our application file open to operating system i had done this and not experienced any trouble so let's make it fine there is no error and warning good uh, but you need to do some extra work as uh, definitely for release mode you need to copy plugins.cfg and resource.cfg and uh, make it paste to your applications folder bin and release fine i had done it make sure your resource file will show will have this uh, your ogre's setups path your path of the ogre setup because in release mode the resource file had has the path like this which should be the exact path of your ogre file that is this one in my case so what i need to do is copy it and then resource paste and make like make it all same like this fine and one more thing to be noticed here the slash is quite important windows setting has some mismatch with ogre slash so you need to do it this one as the same fine as i had done it i am closing it no but in my release everything is same like that please notice it notice it neither your applic application will give runtime error fine uh now 
this is a good one zero error zero warning very nice it looks very good and now let's run it okay now this is rendering setup window of ogre 3d here when we have two rendering systems ogre 3d rendering system as opengl rendering uh, rendering subsystem ogre 3d can render its object its uh, game window in both rendering subsystems as well as uh, op uh, in both rendering sub subsystems either in ogre 3d as well as in opengl so let's make ogre 3d 9 rendering subsystem choose it here few customization should be there here by default you will get a uh, full screen yes i had made it no okay i don't need the full screen one and by default you will get video mode to be 80 800 cross 1600 at 32 bit color i had made it 1024 cross 768 at 32 bit colors whatever it's all your choice it's it completely depends you and on ok you will get a good ogre screen yes it is ogre screen and fps is 115 to 100 frames per second okay fine goodbye